Yeah, so um, well, I use the uh, you know the Launchpad platform. Launchpad is basically a group uh, which is uh, you know formed by the ASU students who are already at ASU. Uh, so what that group does is basically help uh, students to meet and interact with you know their classmates before they get here. So what I did was you know uh, fill out my details in a spreadsheet, which was you know a Google spreadsheet, which other students could access as well. So I found my roommates using um, uh, the Launchpad group. But you could also use like other groups right now, which would be you know WhatsApp. Uh, you have that ASU Mumbai group, I believe, which is active on uh, Facebook and WhatsApp. So yeah, most of the uh, you know the most of like the Indian community lives in uh, you know a few of the housing apartments, which would be you know University of Mumbai, University uh, Housing, uh, University House, uh, in New Orange and Tamrak. So like most of my friends also live like uh, in these apartments. Uh, Uh, well, that depends on like which uh, which property you choose to live on. Like, uh, but the thing is that there are like issues of roaches and you know um, the apartments being old, uh, especially on Delhi on Orange and Tamrak. Uh, but then you know you have uh, you also have like good properties in University Point, which, uh, which is where I live. And you know if you maintain like proper cleanliness, I believe you won't like have any roach infestation. So you know, like uh, there are like different, uh, you know, like just, I like j just like I mentioned the different properties in, in which you live. So like the rent ranges from somewhere around 290 to around 350, or, or even higher, like depending on what kind of apartments you choose. So you like the one that I live in has like a rent of 324 dollars per person because we are like four people sharing one apartment, which is like for our two room apartment. If you want to have your own room, it will cost you like twice of that, which would be around 500 to 600. But the advantage of you know staying off campus is that it's much cheaper. Um, like if you can afford to live on campus, it would obviously be much better. But like if you are someone who is like um, you know um, uh, trying to cut down the cost, I would suggest that you live off campus. Uh, it's it's just two minutes away from where I live. So basically, I use uh, you know my uh, not not just me like all the other students use a bike to like travel between like you know uh, from the place to um, you know uh, to their lectures or to their workplace or, or to their part-time jobs and you know travel to for grocery or something. So, so it, it's pretty uh, like everything is just five minutes away from where I live. So if you if you decide to live in Renew Orange or you know or University Point. Uh, Or even university house, uh, for that matter. You know, you would uh, you would find uh, you know groceries and you know stuff just within like five minutes. And you know, uh, the campus would obviously be just two minutes away. Right? Um, so like cooking meals. Um, so like personally, I don't cook for myself much. Uh, what I do is like there's a sardar there uh, in Tempe who you know. Who cooks uh, five different types of curries and delivers you on alternative days for seventeen dollars, and that suffices you for I guess about two three days. And if you're sharing that meal with someone else, then you know you get to eat fresh meals every every other day. So it works for me actually. Me and my roommate share his food. Like the other two roommates, they cook by for themselves. And like the cost associated with it is that you know I would say uh, if you're cooking by yourself, you would definitely save uh, you a hundred dollars. Or maybe even more. And so you know, whatever you need, it, it definitely uh, like the cost definitely depends upon your lifestyle. So personally, uh, for me, it it, it uh, you know it ranges from somewhere around three fifty to four fifty dollars a month, just the food. Um, well, mine doesn't, uh, but most of the other uh, apartments usually, uh, you know, the rent includes their electricity bills. Uh, and the water bills, so mine does include all the other utilities other than electricity. So, you know, I end up paying for somewhere between forty dollars to eighty dollars for electricity, depending on what season it is. Because, like, obviously in the summers, uh, you know, days it gets it gets very hot, and you know, the cost of electricity is therefore like uh, you know the per kilowatt cost goes up. So, you know, you, you might see a two times spike in your electricity bill in summer. Yeah, well, initially it was kind of, but like for me, like I've always lived with my parents, so uh, like the fact that you know I had to be away from them and then do all my all my work by myself, do my own cooking, my laundry and stuff, it did make me feel a little, uh, you know, homesick. And then 
but it, but you get used to it so it's just it's just like a phase that passes in a few months